Hi guys, so let's look at this question here. Uh, this question says that how many isosceles triangles uh, with integer sides are possible that have a perimeter of 250 units? Okay. So a lot of you, a lot of you guys will do that inequality process. Okay, but uh, actually taught in the uh, geometry videos also. There's a diet formula for it. Okay, so you can use that formula. The formula actually goes like this: that whenever the perimeter is even, okay, the total number of triangles, the total number of triangles will be equal to p is square by 48 where this is the nearest integer function okay what does this, this bracket means what nearest integer function if uh, function basically if the value comes as 13.2 okay the value will be 13 but if it comes as 13.8 it becomes 14 right if it is 13.6 it becomes 14 if it is 13.4 it becomes 13 right so nearest integer function it is okay that's a total number of triangles p square is 48 also uh, if i need to find number of scalene triangles so if i find i want to find number of scalene triangles in this scalene triangles means all these sides are unequal okay so all these sides are not equal basically a b c are three different sides here so number of for the number of scalene triangles just replace p with p minus 6 in the formula just replace p with p minus 6 okay so that formula becomes actually p minus 6 whole square by 48 okay so p minus 6 whole is square by 48 that's number of scalene triangles right <clears throat> again this bracket is a nearest integer function here <clears throat> sorry so now what i can do is so in this question we have a total perimeter of uh, we have a perimeter of 250 units so what i can find here uh, I can I can see that number of scalene triangles plus number of isosceles triangles plus number of equilateral triangles is equal to total number of triangles, right? So what I can say that if the perimeter is 250 units here, that means how many scalene triangles will be here? So I can say it, it should be p minus 6 whole square by 48 because p is even here. Okay, p is even, right? 250 is even. So p minus 6 whole square 48. That means I can just put, uh, put p 250 here. So 250 minus 6 whole square by 48. And it's the nearest integer function plus number of isosceles triangles, let it be i, plus number of equilateral triangle will be 0. Because 250 है ना तो 250 by 3 is not an integer value right 250 by 3 value क्या होता है 83.33 होता है तो ये integer value तो नहीं है तो कोई equilateral triangle ही बना पाएंगे हम equilateral triangle में तीनों side equal होना चाहिए so basically that is zero and this is equal to 250 uh, by 48 तो so, 250 uh, का whole square divided by 48 now if I solve it uh, this value will be around uh, 250 ka whole square, right? this is 62,500. So this value will be equal to uh, 62,500 upon 48. Okay, there's a calculator in CAT, you can use that there. And this will be 244 square upon 48. That's the uh, value plus I plus O. If you solve it, uh, sorry, zero. If you solve it, it will be getting a 1302.2 uh, around. Uh, and if you solve it, it will be getting here around uh, 1240.3 around okay if you solve this then plus i plus 0 so this becomes 1240 this becomes i this becomes 0 and this becomes 1302 so that i can say that number of isosceles triangle is equal to 1302 minus 2 uh, 1240 that is equal to 62 so 62 will be the answer for this question okay so all that perimeter question you can easily tackle with this funda already taught in geometry videos uh, in my uh, Rosa channel okay you can see that if you don't if you forget uh, any time so that's the uh, way to solve this kind of question okay thank you